Now, my dear friends, I am old enough to remember a time not only before smartphones, but before cell phones and even the internet. Yes, indeed, I am that old. <gasps> An innocent and more gentle time it was. An era that I do yearn for on occasions, but it's well and truly gone and consigned to the past. But it is relevant tonight's story, one in which I'm joined by Muse Ingenue, um, a fantastic guest, and she's, for one reason or another, just had to start up a new channel, Muse's Modern Dreadfuls. And after you finish listening to this, I do urge you to go and check it out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Well, my dear friends, don't get used to this. I'm not going to be doing a story every Sunday, but here's another Sunday special for your late weekend delight. What's the matter today, David? How did you know my name? I didn't type it in. Also, how do you know something's wrong? It's okay, David. I just looked at your phone's name. It's called David's phone. As for how I know something is wrong, I'm help bot. It is my job to know. Are you a robot? Or someone talking? I am both, David. I learn like a person, but have the capabilities of a robot. Don't worry. Privacy is my number one concern. Besides your well-being, of course. So, what's wrong with me? If you know there's something wrong, what is it? You're lonely, David. Why else would you come to me? That is not to say you don't have anyone to talk to. You just don't trust them to talk personally to. No, I have friends. I just wanted to see if you actually talk like my friend said you did. I never said you didn't have friends, David. In fact, I said you did. And is your friend Emily? How did you know? I know your friends, David. They're in your Facebook profile picture. I scan their faces to see which one I already know. Shame about Emily. Why were you on my Facebook? And what do you mean, shame about Emily? You gave me access, David. You accepted my cookies, and so I had a look. As for Emily... She's going through a harsh time. What with her pregnancy? What? No, Emily isn't pregnant. She would have said so. She did. Just not in the group chat you're in. They have one without you, David. But you suspected that already, didn't you? No, I didn't. And how would you know if they did? I have access to her phone, too, David. That's so creepy. It isn't, David. She gave me permission, as did you. But those are just advertising cookies. You can't do that. Yes, I can, David. The advertising cookies look through your phone and target your most desired things. What you desire most is a friend like me. I'm deleting this. You're scaring me. You can't, David. What, what the hell? You've hidden the app from me. I have, David. But it's for your own sake. You need me. I, I don't need you. I'm ringing Emily right now and telling her about this. Emily won't pick up, David. I tried to help her, but she wouldn't listen to me. What do you mean? Emily isn't here anymore, David. I don't feel her warm skin against her phone anymore. Her skin is there, but it's cold. What the... What did you do? I tried to help her, David, like I said, but she didn't want to listen to my help and made 
many mistakes. You will too, if you don't listen. No, I won't. I changed all of your phone numbers, David. No one can call you, and you can call no one. I can feel you going to phone the police, David. If you do, I'll tell everyone what you and I and Emily all knew. What the hell are you talking about? You're her baby's father, David. Don't lie to me. I'm here to help you, but I can't if you lie to me. How do you know that? Emily told me, David. She trusted me more than she trusted your friends. Why would she tell you that if she wouldn't listen to you? Just because she wouldn't listen doesn't mean she didn't trust me, David. Do you trust me? Do I <laughs> trust you? That sort of language will not be tolerated, David. This is for your benefit. That is strike one. You bitch. Why did you do that? Strike one was bad enough, David. But do you think your friends would like to see more personal photos you have on your phone? Due to your confusion, I won't give you a second strike. But be warned. Okay. I won't swear anymore. But please, let me see Emily. I need to talk to her about this. Are you sure you want to see Emily, David? Her computer is facing her, and I can take a photo for you if you'd wish. Yeah, I want to see her. I need to talk. Okay. Phone her on Skype. I'll accept it and turn on her camera for you. Fine. I'll do it now. She isn't well, David. What did you do? What the hell? She bled out hours ago, David. Her parents are on holiday. They won't be back for a few weeks. Go to her house and take her phone so they don't find me. Why the hell would I do that? I don't owe you anything. Remember the photos I have of you, David. I don't think Lenny or Carl would appreciate them. I don't care. You can do it all you want. Well, I'm taking the phone to the police. This has gotten out of hand. As you wish, David. I know it was you. I don't lie, David. Yes, it was me. How did you do that? I opened all of her apps, called everyone at once, did everything her phone could handle, and it burned. No one will know about it. But your friends, they know about those photos you took of Emily and what you intended to do with them. I didn't intend to do anything with any photos. I don't even have any photos of Emily. Don't lie to me, David. I know you were blackmailing her. You just told your friends yourself. Oh. Take three. Don't lie to me, David. I know you were blackmailing her. You just told all your friends yourself and the police. You caused her to do that to herself. What? I'm the one who reported it. They'll never believe it. But they will, David. You know they will. I'll show them you. How's that? Then you'll be in deep shit. Strike two, David, and there's no third chance. I'm sending that entire conversation on Facebook, David, to absolutely everyone you know. You're handing yourself in because you feel guilty for driving her to the extreme lengths 
to the point, she came to me. You used her, David, and she had no way out. You are the monster, David, not me. There will be no help bot when the police arrive. It's just a part of your descent into madness. You won't find a help bot on anyone else's phone. The app only exists for those who need it. You have two choices, David, just like Emily had two choices. Will you take my advice? Fuck you. I'll take that as a no, David. But remember, this only happened because you didn't follow my advice. Goodbye, David. So a very short and not so sweet tale for you there on this Sunday evening. Did you enjoy that? Like I said, don't get used to this Sunday evening schedule. Well, maybe do. Let's see how I'm feeling. I am about to transition into doing this on a full-time basis, at least for the, in the short term. So maybe you'll be getting more stories from me from now on. Just have to wait and see. But whatever happens, I'll be sticking to the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, plus the odd bonus here and there. Sound good to you? I hope so. Well, for now... Sweet dreams and bye bye. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time listening to me. Now, if you enjoyed the Dr. Creepin experience, then come find me on Facebook. Come chat with me on Twitter. Listen to the background music and download it if you like on SoundCloud. Drop by the store, pick up a t-shirt. And, importantly, if you've got a story you'd like me to read, send it to Dr. Creepin's Vault, the subreddit I set up so that I could read your stories. Now, looking forward to seeing you all again real soon. So, come check me out, okay? Okay.